Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Psychic Goddess Erica, here with a very mini pick a card reading. Sorry if you see the camera shake a little bit, I'm holding it with one hand. I'm not doing my full setup today because as most of you know, I'm in my ninth month of pregnancy now, so I have to work with the energy I've got before I go on my little uh, maternity break. So today I'm working with the Archer's Discernment Oracle deck, which is one of the ones I created, if you're interested in this. The information on where you can go to get it will be down below in the description box. Um, today's pick a card is going to be what spirit has to say to you. Basically what spirit wants you to know. So go ahead and take three deep breaths. You can pause this if you need to to make your selection. Here is card one. Over here is card two. And then over here is card three. Okay, card one, let's go ahead and see what spirit has to say to you right now, what spirit wants you to know. I do have the window open, so sorry if there's outside noise. Remember, this is a general reading. Take what resonates, release what doesn't. If you want to book a personal reading, the information is down below in the description box. Keep in mind, I will be going on maternity leave for a little bit coming up soon, though. So just make sure you stay tuned to everything for announcements. Your first message, well, your only message, we're doing one card right now, is healing. So card one, healing needs to be your focus right now. This could be you needing to heal something from the past. It could be some shadow work that needs to be done. It could be something subconscious. It could be healing of a connection between you and another person or a group of people. It could even be healing in terms of a mindset around like money or your sense of worth. It could be healing. A lot of this, I feel, is healing around things that need to be let go or even self-blame. Whatever the healing is for you, Spirit wants you to know that right now you're healing and this needs to be your focus right now, first and foremost. Now, for some of you, it could also be that somebody in your life you're wondering about or thinking about is going through a healing process. So allow them that time and space to do that. We have a number eight here. So your angel number at this time is the number eight. I want you, your homework, to look up angel number eight. Some of you may be seeing eights a lot lately or maybe begin to, or you may be seeing numbers that add up to eight. Um, these are messages coming through right now, but eight, in summary, <clears throat> really quickly, it is about abundance. So once you complete this healing, there is going to be more abundance coming in and flowing in for you. you. Some of you may be seeing parts of it now coming already in. Abundance can be money, but it can also be other things. It could be an abundance of opportunity. It could be an abundance of support. It could be abundance of knowledge, of ideas, of creativity, of inspiration. It could be abundance of love. It could be an, an abundance of freedom or, or um, peace, you know, or even or it could be money too so abundance can be many different things but what you're healing right now is happening so that you can call in this abundance it's also a message of infinity so just remember that there's an infinite supply infinite possibilities so don't limit yourself and don't settle as well as it being a connection to karmic cycles so it's time to take a different path, different approach than before. Learn the lesson so that you don't have to repeat the same lesson, the same cycle all over again. So this is what I see for you, card one. Comment below how it resonated with you or, or what's going on with you. I'm curious to hear that. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. And if you choose to, you could always tip by buying me a coffee. The information on where you can go to do that is down below in the description box. And I will talk to you guys another time. Bye, card one. Hey, card two, let's go ahead and see what spirit has to say to you, what spirit wants you to know at this time. Remember, this is a general reading, so take what resonates, release what doesn't. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the information on where you can go to do that is down below in the description box. But do keep in mind that I will be going on maternity break pretty soon, so make sure you stay tuned to um, my pages, community tab, etc. When I say pages, I mean like my Instagram page or the community, community tab here so that you stay updated on announcements. But anyway, so card two, let's see what spirit has to say. Your message is therapy needed. So this can mean a few things. This can mean that there is some form of actual therapy needed for you, like to go and seek a therapist who can help you out to work through some things. For some of you, this can be somebody else in your life that needs therapy. Maybe some of you need therapy together with someone, like family therapy or couples therapy. 
For some of you, this is more about doing something that is therapeutic to you. For example, journaling can be therapeutic or painting can be therapeutic, something creative. For some of you, this could be things like taking care of the body, like a bubble bath or going to see a chiropractor, which I just did today for the first time. It was amazing. Or, you know, massage therapy, acupuncture, things like that. For some of you, maybe even getting your nails done or... Um, Playing a sport is therapeutic. So for some of you, this is also about doing something that feels therapeutic to you. And Spirit is saying to do it now. Something that makes you feel good, taken care of, um, that helps to bring in some um, peace of mind and, and focus on your overall wellness. Also, the number seven is coming up. So your angel number right now is seven. Part of your homework is to look up angel number seven. But it's also bringing the vibration of spiritual growth happening right now for you spiritual lessons even though you may not always see it right you are on the right path you're being divinely guided sometimes even the what feels like a wrong path is the right path because sometimes it's just a lesson that is needed to get you back on track or to make better choices for yourself um, some of you are going through a spiritual awakening your psychic and spiritual abilities are enhancing so these are some of the messages coming through for you today card two comment below how this reading resonated with you or what's going on with you i like hearing about those things like this video subscribe to my channel and if you choose to you could always tip by buying me a coffee the information on where you can go to do that is down below in the description and i will talk to you guys another time bye card two hey card three let's go ahead and see what spirit has to say to you what messages they have for you at this time Remember, this is a general reading, so take a resonates, release with dozens. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the information on where you can go to do that is down below in the description box. Keep in mind, I will be going on maternity leave coming up. So um, just make sure you stay tuned to like my community tab here on YouTube or even my Instagram page so you can have updates on what's going on with that and, and so on. So let's jump on in. Card three, your message is proceed with caution so spirit is telling you to proceed with caution this could be proceeding with caution in a certain situation this could be proceed with caution before making a decision this could be proceed with caution in terms of um who you're giving time energy and attention to it's good it's going to mean different things for different people um this could even be and it doesn't always have to mean like something's dangerous necessarily i mean it, it could be simply just that before you jump on in into something or to sign on to something or to commit to something, including things like contracts, etc. Just make sure that you've done your full on research, looked at the facts, looked at the reviews, whatever it might be, and tapped in and listened to your intuition before making a decision. It's basically a message to kind of slow down, reflect, observe, and make sure is this really a fit for you? Is this really the right thing for you at this time? Is it really serving you, adding value to your life? Things such as that, like self-prompted questions. So whether it's proceeding with caution towards a situation, a relationship, a choice, something that you've been doing in terms of beha a behavior you've been doing, um, a mindset that you have could be that as well. Proceed with caution. However, proceed with caution resonates for you at this time. It's also a message with the number five so your your angel number right now is five your homework is to look up angel number five if you like but basically it's five is bringing the energy of change change is happening it's inevitable do not resist the change the change that is happening needs to happen and it's not always comfortable sometimes even happy change can be overwhelming so and sometimes even happy change comes with its own grief work in a sense because with that with that transformation you're letting go of what's been familiar and what's been comfortable and you're stepping into a new chapter that you may not know even if it's a good thing which ultimately whatever the change is happening is good change i feel it's just sometimes uh, for some of you again will be different things for different people for some of you it's like a blessing in disguise kind of um, energy and some of you are dealing with like delays and these delays I'm just channeling this right now. Some of you are dealing with delays and the delays happened because there was a need for to proceed with caution because there was something that needed to be looked at that ultimately um, was in your highest good uh, that things did get delayed so that the universe can kind of correct something for you. So this is what I see for you, card three. Comment below how it resonated with you or let me know what's going on. I always appreciate hearing what's going on with you guys. 
Remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if you choose to, you could always tip by buying me a coffee. The information on where you can go to do that is down below in the description, and I will talk to you guys another time. Bye, Card 3.